everyone, Artie Tambaramba, also known as Tammy Porter, here again with you today sharing this bright and bold art journal page using lots and lots of art by Marlene Goodies. And this time I took the new stencil paste in gold for a bit of a spin, so hopefully you could see that in some of those photos. It's so shimmery. There will be some photos at the end as well. I used the Smooth Perfect size journal and I've also used a couple of watercolours. So this is her newest watercolour, but I also have the Brighter Than Bright, which is a bit of a blast from the past and it's like neon watercolours. And as I said, I decided to take the new stencil, gold stencil paste for a spin. And then I've used a whole stack of um, stamps. Some are old, some are new. So I used Writing on the Wall, which is like a grungy, texty one. I used Stamp It, which is your circles and stars and scribbles. And then I've used One Way Ticket and also the text play here. Plus I dug out the water um, rub-on transfers in colour that Marlene did. I love these. I should have used them heaps more when they came out. But I've got a few in my stash so I decided to grab those out. And I also used the black and white rub-ons. Um, and then just, you know, brushes and stuff like that. So let's get started on what I'm doing here. So I... I my inspiration came from the little owl that is in the rub-on transfers. Um, for many of you know that my art is how I process things. It's how I move through my emotions. It's how I can let go of some of the stuff I'm feeling. And I was feeling a bit ugh and needed to be brave and needed some, I don't know, some, to channel my inner fierceness so that that owl with the colorful feathers he really spoke to me and something that I often do when I don't know what to do is uh, I just know I need to play is often I turn towards circles and often do, I do multiple circles so this time I just decided to do one big circle and do something a bit different um, I've sort of seen other people do this kind of style here and there and uh, it just Today was the day to give it a tambaramba spin. So basically I drew a circle with pencil um, and then I just started adding a few colours and I was originally trying to do sort of flowers and leaves um, but wasn't quite sure what I was doing. So then I grabbed my owl. I thought, right, let's plonk him down and I basically just peel off the plastic um, and then for put him face down on the paper and then using one of Marlene's sponges, I just dabbed water over the top and he just transferred onto the page so once I had that color down it helped me with the colors to choose from Marlene's watercolors so I guess I was more focused on oranges and pinks before but um, having him there I was so, sort of tuned in more to the purples and the blues and a bit more depth of color and I just think um, it's just starting to come together initially I'll I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just started to feel like this might become something at this point. So I'm drying off in between because I don't want to get too much mud. So I want my colours to be quite vivid and strong so that they match the little owl. So I don't want to get, if it's too wet and the colours blend a lot, you will get too much murkiness. So I did want a little bit of blending but that's why I'm drying it off every so often and I'm basically just building up the layers I'm kind of going with I'll make big bold flowers and some leaves and I'm occasionally coming in with water and tilting my page so that the water the colors drip drips down a little bit and I really like how that looks so my flowers aren't uh, defined I guess they're just big blobs on the page and a few leaves here and there and I, I want it, I really like the way that that is looking. So now I decide to continue building up those layers and I come in with the um, text, grungy text, and just stamp that in little sections. Um, I don't put it on a block, I just dab it in little parts where I have been putting that colour. I'm trying to leave the sort of circular part that I've made free and concentrate on the top and the bottom. And now I'm also coming in with the stars and circles from the Stamp It stamp and just creating little clusters around him. So I guess it's kind of like a wreath or a nest or kind of like a mandala. 
Um, yeah, so I'm just I'm sticking in those areas. I'm coming out a little bit with colour and and some stamping, but I'm trying to focus on where that colour is. So now I decide it's time to have a look and see what this texture paste can do. So a few of the girls have been doing it with stencil paste and swiping it over the stencils, which it's amazing for. But I just wanted to see what it was like using it in a different way. So what I did was I grabbed a stamp from the ticket stamp and it's little crosses. And I actually added some of the gold texture paste, uh, the stencil paste onto that and stamped it so that it was sort of coming downwards and into the into the circle. And I just did that in a few little spots and it actually worked quite well. So then I added a little bit of water to the, tech, uh, the stencil paste and I concentrated the gold around those circular sections. Oh, is, does that make sense? So that's sort of the large shape of the circle. And it is beautiful. The shimmer is amazing. And I really like how that um, the gold just around those edges kind of balances that really bright, bold colour that's at the top and the bottom of the page. So now the watercolours have dried off a little bit and um, they always dry a little bit softer and I'm a real colour person. So this is where I dug out my... Um, brighter than bright watercolors because they pack a punch they are like boom <laughs> and so I started adding those into my page sometimes I'm mixing the colors sometimes I'm just adding the you know the pink straight on and and I'm really happy with these look it, as soon as I started doing this there was a few times through making this video that I thought oh where is this going what am I doing it's all washy, it's not working, and there are a couple of times where I nearly chucked it out. But I guess it just shows that when you stick to it and you just keep layering and you just keep pushing and adding more colours and adding depth of colour by adding layers, all of a sudden it was like, boom, I love it. Um, so it's probably at this point that I'm quite happy and uh, really enjoying the process. And I have just used the leftover bit of stencil paste in the gold just to add a few splatters as well to the page so now i'm coming in and adding a little bit more texture so this is says be badassy um, and be brave and i've got these from the text play stamp set and some of them are blocky and some of them are just text and i really like how you know you scatter a few of those in and it starts to tell some of the story that i'm feeling then I also added in some of the stars. So there's little stars in the stampet. Um, and I just went in and I think there's, I used a little star in the text play as well. Yes, I did. And I just scattered them throughout as though they were coming out from um, those big patches of colour. So next I dug around in the black and white rub-ons and I found Fierce and Fabulous, which is just perfect. And the text is just perfect for this page. So I cut those out and I cut them down so that I could put them in a certain way on my page. And then just using the end of one of Marlene's brushes, I just rubbed them on to the background. And here I'm just journaling. So I've written, when things get tough, lean into the colour, channel your spirit animal and connect to your fierce and fabulous energy because um, that's what this page is all about so i will leave you now with lots and lots of close-ups um, the lighting is better in these photos than um, the video and the only thing is you probably can't really see the shimmer it, it's really hard to pick up in photos um, maybe you got to see a little bit of it in the video but that that stencil paste is awesome it is fierce and fabulous. So thanks so much for sticking with me and joining me today. I would love to hear from you. I'm absolutely happy with this page. I love it so much that I think I might even frame it and put it up in my studio. So as I said, love to hear from you. Thanks so much for joining me and I will be back again soon. Bye.